Welcome. I am Gabi Zapodano, Technical Marketing Engineer, Cisco Systems Enterprise Networking Business. In this demonstration, I will show you how to use the Cisco DNA Center Command Runner APIs. I will share with you how to find the API documentation for the APIs we are going to use today. I will go over the Command Runner API workflow. I will share with you where you can find the sample code and we will execute the provided sample code. The Cisco DNA Center Command Runner APIs can be found in the Developer Toolkit, Operational Tasks, and Command Runner. We are going to use a few different APIs. The first one is to send the commands to the devices. The second one is to receive the status of a task ID and to download the file with the output of the executed commands. The workflow of the Command Runner API is uh, slightly different comparing with some of the other APIs that you may have used with Cisco DNA Center. It will allow us to send read-only commands to one or multiple devices. The output of this API request is actually a task ID. We will check the task if it is completed using the task ID provided. And when completed, we are going to receive a file ID. We will then download the file specified with the file ID. That file includes the output of the commands executed on devices. The code for this demonstration is included in the GitHub Enterprise Networking Programmability Organization. Let's run this application a couple of times. The command underscore runner py script expects two different parameters. The first one is the CLI command. The second is the hostname of the device that will execute this command. First time we are going to send a command that is valid show run interface gig 0 slash 0 to a device that Cisco DNA Center does not manage. Cisco DNA Center will inform us that the requested device is not managed. Second, we are going to send this script two different parameters, a valid command, the same show run interface gig 0, 0, to a device that Cisco DNA Center manages. But this time, using REST APIs, we are going to submit the command. Cisco DNA Center will reply with a task ID. We will check when the task ID is completed, and the output of that API request will provide us with a file ID. Using the file ID, we are going to download a text file that includes the command runner output. This slide provides you links to all the Cisco Enterprise Networking YouTube channels and communities. Thank you for your time today.